me and Logan, you know what, how on the spot you were putting you right now in front of all of these people. Okay, okay, excuse me. Jamie, give me, give me some room to breathe here. There you are. Hi. We um, are pretty used to this at this point. I feel like we've had a few Zoom calls now, right? Yeah, I, I just live in my phone. What was so surreal about coming together for this shoot, in fact, is because I got to see you outside of my phone screen for the first time in a very long time because I literally don't see anyone because of the pandemic. I'm just so excited that we finally got to like do something together and give something back to the fans because they've been so patient. And so this was- Tell me about it. <laughs> Over 10 years of patience and love and continued support, you know, you do something at that age, you have no idea what kind of an impact it's going to have on people ongoing. And it's the just the most loved and cared for thing I've ever been a part of, which is so special to know that it impacts people to this day. Speaking of, you know, the music video is all in good fun, but I want to know like, okay, so if, you know, the reboot was to be written exactly how Quinn would see it, how would you see you and Logan? You'd still be in each other's lives. Definitely right? be in each other's lives, yes. Definitely be in each other's lives. So, okay, you know what, I stand behind it. This is what I said during our interviews earlier this year, and everyone got really mad at me, and I'm gonna, I, I doubled down on what I said. These are whole people. And I want to see how their relationship has evolved. Maybe they're romantically involved in their lives. Maybe they're not. I'm sorry that I can't just 100% tell you that they're married with five kids. I want to see these people evolve, you know? And, like, it's not a given that you stay with your high school sweetheart. I'm not saying that things ended, or even if they did, that they ended poorly. They are 100% in one another's lives. And you can all yell at me. I'm literally not going to look at the chat because I don't want to know right now. <laughs> but I stand behind that. With the cat. I really can't keep up with it. No. But, um, but yeah, I totally think that, like, we're all in each other's lives. And oh, yeah, exactly. Like, every character is invested in the other's well-being and happiness, you know? So, like, whether they're romantically involved or not, they love one another. That love runs deep. When they announce and profess their love for one another in front of everybody at the prom, you know, sparked by Logan and that so, so iconic moment, which I absolutely love. That love never went away. So if that's what people are worried about, that love never went away. That love changes, it evolves. People change and evolve as they go through their lives. And I think we owe it to Quinn and Logan and also to the fans to represent them as whole people. Yes, for sure. And I mean, come on. It wouldn't be a very interesting reboot if everybody <laughs> happily got married. Heather. Oh, tell me about it. Like, it starts, uh, Zoe and Chase are married, Logan and Quinn are married. There are no questions to be answered. People are gonna be like, oh my God, I got everything I wanted. And then after five minutes, I'll be like, I'm bored, what, what's next, you know? To have this whole little moment for the music video, although it's not tied to the reboot, but it is definitely, because it's just giving them the music video, I was like, look, let's give them an extra performance. Let's give them some behind the scenes footage. Yeah. And so I'm gonna answer some questions at the end of the live event. So it's really interactive and really fun. They'll get to be in on the story without really saying too much. Uh, you know, we've created a lot of buzz around it. And when mm -hmm. you go, know, and then especially with the live event behind the scenes and all that stuff, the fans will totally be in on the whole thing, which I think is going to be the ultimate payoff. When is it time for the time capsule? Look, the time capsule has its moment um, in this little music video. And it's very hard to fit our whole story, time capsule, everything into five minutes, you know, but we really, really, really did try. And we tried to touch on everything, but you know, it's hard to fit it all in there, but we did this because we wanted to make you guys happy and tell a story. And I think that the time cancel questions will definitely be addressed in the reboot. Alexandra's Pearl asked, did Quinn's Banapple tree ever grow? And you will get your answers in the music video. Mind blown. So there's your answer. Yeah. Oh, wait, does Zoe still have a key on her neck? Well, in the music video, I felt like maybe we shouldn't put the key on yet because that is such an iconic Zoe symbol that that should be a big reboot moment. You know, like I feel like this was kind of Jamie Lynn as Zoe in, the, in this music video. So I felt like when Zoe is Zoe, like she definitely will have the key will definitely be a part of it. But the music video was still kind of tied to me as a person. You know, the Zoe fans are very passionate about what they believe Zoe should be doing. So I think that we'll save that for when I'm full on Zoe. There is uh, something so special about having passionate fans, but also means that we want to be really careful and thoughtful and intentional about the things that we do, because we know you care so much. And I wouldn't want it to be any other way. I know none of us would, but we want to be really careful and thoughtful with what we do. What was your favorite episode? 
My favorite episode might have been Quinn's date. I always loved it. I love that we got some more backstory on Quinn um, in a similar way to why I love the episode Chase's grandma, you know, where, where Chase's grandma died and Zoe got to really be there for her. And in Quinn's date, Quinn was dealing with all of this um, uncertainty about being a young woman with a crush and like, how, how do I want this person to treat me? How do I even feel about it? Like, what is my first date going to be like? And and Zoe got to really show up for her in that way. And so the episodes that uh, weren't just funny, but also really thoughtful and and helped establish these characters as whole people and where we got to learn about their backstory, I love. When you're doing a kid's show, it's hard because, um, you know, they isolate, they want the kid's show to take place in one place and yes. based around events that happen and how the kids react. And I think the thing that's cool about especially diving into the reboot conversations is really getting to know these characters and what they've been through. Like you said, like your favorite episode, you got to know more about Quinn and about Chase. And, you know, I just think that that's what's fun is about really establishing not just these characters, but where they come from, their history. Um, and I saw someone ask, will Stacy pop up? If we do a reboot, like Stacey, Stacey's got to be there for sure. I was just going to say the exact same thing. I was just going to say the exact question and the exact same response. And then I saw another question said, well, who's your favorite guest star? And I'm bringing it back to Stacey, Abby Wild. I mean, I, I generally try not to play Gravitz. I love everyone, but I just love her as a human being. I love her character. She's just, yeah, absolutely gold. Yeah, I know. And like, that was the thing is like, in an ideal non-COVID world, we would invite every single person in the whole entire world. Yeah. Then that would be awesome. But there are a lot more restrictions on who you can, yeah. how we can get things done. And, um... And we wanted everyone to be a part. Obviously, Victoria was working. I think she's in South America working. Well, South right? Africa. I know. She's filming right now in South Africa. Um, yeah. And then Alexa is actually about to have her baby. So all the well wishes to her. And Paul had a work engagement. But, um, you know, it was hard getting everyone's dates to line up. But we did the best we could. And, um, you know, hopefully in the reboot, we'll have much more time to kind of plan out a more like a more ideal time for exactly. Everyone. I think that's one thing that it's really important to make clear to everybody. This is like just a fun thing. It's not representative of what we think the reboot series is going to be. It's, it's a tease of just fun stuff and getting to see us all together, just like playing around and laughing and goofing off. And it literally took place in one day and to coordinate that many people and to also be COVID compliant and have them all be COVID tested and, and available on that day. Like it's so it's, like, it's an exhausting number of things to coordinate. I'm not the one who coordinated any of it. I just, I, I empathize with the people who, who are behind it all. In the video, we actually had some scooters made, like a modern day, like what a Jet X would be in today's world. And like, they are all customized, like follow me, uh, logos all over them and stuff. And so we decided, hey, we had, you know, some extra scooters or whatever. And, and so we want to give the fans a chance to win one. So what we're going to do is when you buy your tickets on beeps.com or go to the link in my bio and get your tickets, send a screenshot and tag me on Instagram or Twitter or whatever, tag me on it. And you will have a chance to get one of the Zoe 101, like custom follow me scooters from the music video. Wait, I didn't know that. Am I included? Can I submit? Can I, can I maybe win a scooter? Erin, get on beeps right now. Or go okay. I'm going to get on beeps, guys. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm so happy that we were like able to get on tonight and um, kind of talk to the fans because I know they have a lot of questions and um, keep sending us questions. We're doing this because we love all of, all of you. And uh, it was so fun to get to work with, you know, this generation's, you know, 12 and 13 year olds are big fans of these kids. We were the 12 and 13 year olds fans, you know, back then people loved us. So um, it was so nice to invite other people into that world. And yeah. Just it, but at the same time, you know, this isn't connected to the reboot, but this is definitely um, setting the tone going forward because the oh, reboot is oh. going to happen. And um, if you want to know more and you want to get the backstory and kind of get the inside peek on what we were doing, you've got to watch the live stream um, October 25th, Sunday, October 25th. And you're going to get more than just the video. You get behind the scenes and also a chance to win the scooter if you tag me in the screenshot of you buying your tickets. I'm very excited about the scooter situation. I saw one message I want to reply to. Um, Katakana Itsuka says, Quinn, you're off character. You're not a geek anymore. And I want to address that geekiness lives in your heart. It has nothing to do with your appearance. So we are all geeks and nerds if we identify as such, which I do. And but also, thank you. Like, okay, yeah, you're gorgeous. You're smart. Like, you can do it. There's like, like, I mean, come on. I think that 
I think that that's the cool thing about um kind of about yes baby kind of about our whole story is like I feel like you got to see Zoe was kind of a tomboy that was very important to me you know we're we're not just one way we can be a lot of things and um totally and that's what I want to explore in the reboot is all the sides of these characters there's so much to come and I'm so excited and um you know this is just a tease of what's to come and um we can't wait to get the whole gang back together. Yes. Um, when there isn't so many restrictions and there isn't just one day out of the whole year that we can all do this. But, exactly. But yeah, Erin, thank you so much for chatting with me. Y'all go get your tickets and you can see the whole live event, music video, and possibly get a scooter um, as well. So um, we're going to be chatting with you all a lot. And the song comes out. The song comes out so soon. So Are you so excited, Jamie? Like, how do you feel about that? I'm like, it's kind of weird because like I sang this song when I was 12 and now I'm singing it again. And now it's, it's never been released. Like people had to go to like Utah, I mean, Utah. <laughs> was, U that a, was that YouTube? Yeah, it was YouTube, but I mixed it with TikTok. I was like, you talk. Anyways. <laughs> I thought you said Utah. I was just imagining people just going to the state of Utah to watch, yeah. to listen to the song. It's the only place you could access it. I have to go to Utah to listen to it. I have it. to go to Utah. And yeah. most people weren't committed enough, so I'm fucking down. And so, um, like, you had to go to YouTube to listen to it. So this is the first time we're ever releasing the song in a way that they can actually listen to it, like an official song. And I love it. And I think it stands on its own. I think people will, you know, love listening to it and also um, appreciate it because it's something they grew up with. But we just updated it. We made it, you know, we made it our own thing. It's it's jam now. Thankfully, Chantel came on and, like, modernized it because me, I'm like, more piano let's sing it like this you know and she's like no like you need a beat people need to dance to this and she was such a big zoe fan like she corrected me on a lot of things that we were talking about like that's really cool it's the great that it was such a collaborative experience yeah because she was like a fan she said no no this is i remember when zoe did this and i was like you know what this is what i need because when you're actually playing the character sometimes you forget like how you're being perceived like or how it's yeah and um that was what was really cool is everyone involved in this was a fan of Zoe and kind of helped like tell us how they watched it, perceived it as fans, which was really cool. That yeah. is, it's such a special perspective. And, and yeah, it's easy to, to focus on what's going on inside your head and not on how it's making other people feel. And just, I think as an actor in general, recognizing, oh, it's not so much about how I feel. It's about what I encourage other people to feel, what I inspire them to feel. And that's why people keep coming back to watch something because of how it makes them feel. Yeah, I totally agree. And this show was so much fun the first time. And I'm excited to give them, a, give them a little taste of what's to come. And we're just thankful we got to get together. And hope you guys all enjoy it and watch the live event. You can go to the link in my bio for more details. And Erin, I will be seeing you soon. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see you in person soon. All right. Sounds good. Bye, y'all.